Next step, we're gonna take out all these bolts right here, and it's gonna be a T40, and it's gonna be all 16 of these. And then after that, we're gonna take these out right here. One, two, and there's three. The third one up here, you'll see. And there should be a fourth one somewhere here. Yeah, once I find out, I'll let you know. Also, another bolt we want to take out is this one, this one, and this one, that should be a 10 millimeter. Take it off. And you can see why, since it's still attached from here to here, I want to remove those out. So we're taking these bolts off right here. So the top ones have all here on this side, which is where the hub assembly would go. And when you go to the bottom on these sides, it will be on this side. And this will all be size this backwards. Uh, 10 millimeter to remove all these right here. So you be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now the other side will be two, three, four. And there's no one you rare. down there too and I'm also removing uh, these right here too these and these up here so these should be a uh, 14 millimeter if I'm not mistaken to remove those right there let me see there and take that out we'll use this uh, size 8 and it fits directly right there Now to take this out, there's another screw in there. So in order to get that on here, if you see, so you switch this to pass drive, and you'll see it right down there, the screw. If you can see, right there. So you see that screw? So you just have to line it up with this, and this has to be pass drive, and you'll see right there. And for that, so for that screw right there, should be a size uh, T27, and I should be able to remove that one right there, and then it should pop up. Got that loose, you just pop this thing out, like so. Put it to the side. And the only part we're stuck on right now is removing that one. And this one right there, so those are strip bolts, so I'm going to have to figure out how to open that up. Okay, so we have the transmission back on the vehicle, so now we're going to take all the bolts that are, that are here. And we'll just put them on this side right here. Okay, so we have all the screws out. So now we're gonna try to pry it open. And we'll see how we can do that. We'll probably have to use a pry bar or flathead. Okay, now we got it open. I had trouble trying to open it, so you, when you get to this part, there's some parts where you could just like hit it with a hammer. Once you see it like open up a little bit, just like hit it with a flathead in there, so you can just pry it open. Anyways, you got to find the open. Okay. 
so now you see there's some the interior so there are metal parts here that are broken you see here so this is from the clutch dampener which is going to be replaced and that's this part right here uh, I don't know if you can see because of the bad lighting but yeah that's the another magnet that's down there and so everything I'm going to have to have cleaned up the filter this is all going to get replaced new filter and yeah, there's anything else I can see Probably more in here. Let's flip her around too. Now, I'll zoom you in a little bit closer. So all this has to go. So I'm gonna clean that up. They say that this fork's okay. This one probably is okay. Right here. I had to clean all that up and clean this one all up. But one of them, I think they said one of the ship forks had to. Uh, um, upgrade to a new one which is what I'm gonna do for this transmission I'm gonna upgrade to a uh, one from Jack's performance or Jack's uh, uh, what do you call those Jack's transmissions now there's a little piece right here I don't know if you can see it with metal shaving and I don't know where this is from so I'm gonna do like a little bit more in depth so I'm gonna leave that there yeah okay so yeah so we're gonna do a little bit more of a tear down on this transmission just to see uh, what else needs to get fixed <laughs> I'm pretty scared to see what else I could want to find in this transmission but yeah I hope this is good this gap it might be maybe just for this right here where it engages and disengages yeah but yeah all this is gonna get cleaned up this too right here this and I lost this I know I lost the screw in here somewhere too which I'll probably find in there but yeah so these right here are gonna get replaced these magnets or these uh, sensors here for these points and this they're all gonna get replaced and that's about it so yeah so to take this uh, filter off you need a T30 and there'll be a screw like right here which is this length just to remove it so it should be a easy removal yep here it is and you see all that um, debris here all that mag uh, metal shaping so that's this filter has to be replaced it has been replaced in like probably hundred thousand miles so it's, it's got to go